we want Blackburn to Darwin in 10 years time to be the leading borough in Lancashire giving people a top quality of life with a growing population because people are staying here and coming here to live, work and enjoy their leisure time. What the inspection team found is that we were on the top rate of councils in the country. But more important than just the rating, what it meant to us is they thought our schools were performing very well and giving really great life chances to our young people. They thought our streets were clean and safe and they were particularly pleased at the number of jobs we were creating for young people leaving school and college. We know there's a, a poor record of health. We know there are many challenges in terms of young people leaving school without qualifications. What we've done is set priorities to address each of those concerns. So we are investing millions and millions of pounds into improved uh, uh, leisure opportunities. We're creating new business parks, new universities, and also we're making sure the neighbourhoods they live in have got sufficient playgrounds, the streets are clean, the streets are well lit, and people feel safe in their homes. Everywhere you look, activity is happening on the ground. In Darwin, there is a brand new leisure centre being built, £15 million. Pounds. There's a new academy school, £44 million. Pounds. In Blackburn Town Centre, the transformation of the college, a major new health building, the new Wainwright Bridge, is transforming the face of Blackburn and Darwin. And our private sector partners are helping as well by a major new shopping development as part of the MAL. We have almost £500 million of the public investment in this borough over the next three to five years. We are leading the whole of Penang Lancashire in transforming that area as well. We recognise that if Accrington or Burnley fail, we will not succeed. We know the staff have been the foundation of our success. Both our citizens and independent surveys tell us that's the real difference they make to the lives of our people and that's why we've been so successful in this inspection and previous inspections. We're aware that it's a very difficult time for our town centre traders in particular, so we've taken a whole number of initiatives. Sample over Christmas, we've invested a good deal more money in our Christmas lights and putting on specific activities to bring people into the town centre. I think it's right that people should always question and always press us to do better, but I would say just look back at this Buddha was 10 years ago. Look back at the schools and how well they're performing now. Look at the housing that's been transformed in this borough over the last 10 years. Look at the parks that have been improved, like Corporation Park. 15,000 jobs along the M65. Look at the transport improvements. We've worked very hard to ensure strong cohesion. We have nationally recognised projects such as the 100 Voices and Neighbourhood Voices. This council is a listening council. This council is a council that's prepared to change to make sure that our cohesive community continues to grow and thrive.